Ah, they'll be fine. Okay. They could add entertainment when I tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's probably probably not that serious. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to Legends in My Own Mind. It's a new legend. It's a new day. It's a new series. Uh, this, this, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. The, the greatest. <laughs> yeah. No, man, I'm sitting here with you, and I appreciate it. I'm I sitting really here, do. ladies and gentlemen. This is our legend for the next four weeks. He's going to be sitting with us. He is, he has been around. One of the few guys in Central Illinois who has been around longer than I have. Barely. 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 He's, yeah. he's the one, the only, he's the legend in my mind this week, Benz. Thanks for having me, man. Like I said, it's an honor to be asked, man. Um, especially by somebody who I look, I respect and look up to more than anybody probably in this business. It's uh, it's a it's an honor, and I wouldn't have not done this. So, well, man, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, man, I gotta start. <clears throat> I gotta start a, sto- a story to tell you. Um, right. I don't know if you remember, uh, we had had a uh, not an argument, but we were having a discussion about when this started. And you were you were insisting that it was when we were in high school. And I was saying there's no way it was when we were in high school mm-hmm. because um, I remember coming back. I, I I was at college for one year, and I remember coming back from college right. to watch like when when it was starting and and seeing you because you and Scotty started before me, right. and so like I would remember vividly coming back from college and like being home on the weekends and going to see you guys do this thing. Um, and then it occurred to me, I'm a year younger than I'm you. I'm a year old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, like, you know, I was, I was adamant. You were like, nah, I started in high school. I was like, there's no way it started in high school. It did for me. Yeah, it did for you. It and, absolutely and I did. remember that like way after the fact. Yeah. I had to get a, I had to get a, a signature. Yeah. Yeah. To go, to let me do it. Uh, yeah. That was, that was, was a youngin. Yeah. That was, man, that was fun. Yeah. So yeah. Tell us about it. That's where we're I mean, starting. This week we're starting we're starting with the history, right? Okay. So I want to I want to know your whole career start to finish. Um it starts uh I mean it starts at what is now known, well, I guess that's gone now too. Capital City Bar and Grill's gone. Yeah. But I mean that's where it started in that old movie the two the what was it a $2 movie theater? I, or, I remember I mean, it was it was $2 movie. Theater. I saw I saw it, uh Transformers the movie there. Like the cartoon one, the cartoon one, oh, the cartoon okay. one. Because okay, I was going to say that that, that wasn't <laughs> no, made then, but yeah, man, I, I watched Optimus Prime die in that theater. Oh man, that is that's how old that it, that place yeah. was. I remember walking in there um, the first time. I mean, I I had heard Scott Scotty Cash had uh, told me about these guys he knew, and I I don't know how he came about meeting them. Um, but he's like, Hey, do you want to come try this with me? I'm going to, I'm going, I've been there a couple nights. You can come, you know, with me. And I walked in and I didn't, I mean, you remember that place, man. I was like, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure rip. I mean, I, am I supposed to use people's real names? Uh, uh, whoever you, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Rob was laying on the couch with no <laughs> shirt on in the front room and just goes, uh, and went back to sleep, <laughs> yeah. and I went. What was that? Right. And we just. I walked in, and there's you know guys in there learning to take bumps, and I was like, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I didn't know that. Like I felt like I belonged. Like right. I felt like at the time, I felt like I looked different. I presented myself different, and and I know it's going to come off weird, but I felt like at that time. I was in okay. I was didn't look like this. I was right. in great shape at that time. I was just come off football, basketball, yeah. sports. You're young, and I was mean. like, I was like, am I the only athlete in this place or what? And I mean, and I mean, taking nothing away from those guys, oh, that, no, no, but no but at the same point, it, it was. Yeah. I walked in and I went. I had a love for wrestling. That's mm-hmm. what drove me in there. It was you know I would assume the same as you guys. I didn't take it to the to the 
Japan matches and stuff like that. Like oh, some people did. No, I didn't know. Yeah. But even then, I, I didn't, still don't. Yeah. I, hate, I hate Japanese <laughs> matches. <laughs> but well, where, where did you become? Let's you know. Let's start there. Where did you become a fan? Um. Honestly, I my first memory of wrestling was at my uncle's house. My aunt and uncle in Peoria. And I had never seen wrestling. I was probably maybe nine or ten. We were up there getting babysat, and my mom had something to do. And she's like, "Here, I'm dropping you off." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be different. Something different tonight." And then we were kind of bored sitting around, and you know, my uncle turned on rest Saturday night's main event, yeah. and I went, and it just grabbed my attention. And from then, I was like, "Okay." And I kind of after I went home, didn't think about it, didn't start doing it, and then I would say right about the time. Bret Hart started taking off. The Razor Ramon, that right there at yeah. the beginning of Razor Ramon is where I really got hooked in and told my mom, hey, we got to go to we gotta go to Comcast and get that box. Because, I mean, we didn't have the box. <laughs> right. You had to go rent the box. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the and, box. Yeah, that yeah. was $99. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, I, I didn't have. And, and, yeah, we had to go get the box. And I used to have to promise the world, I will mow for weeks. I will do this. <laughs> I will do that. Let's – and – she she most of the time would go get them for me yeah. and and it just carried on i i continued to watch it i i i didn't i never hid the fact that i was a wrestling fan right. people brought it you know brought it to me or anything so that was one of the things that i mean it made me friends with a lot of people even in high school like they would be like oh do you watch wrestling do you watch wrestling me and floyd cruz used to sit in the <laughs> in his dad's basement and yep. watch wrestling nobody would have ever thought floyd would have watched wrestling but right. i mean that was you know, and that was literally right before I got invited to join in. So, okay, it was, yeah, yeah it was. A, that was that was all through. That was through, so. You're talking about like through the Attitude Era. Yeah, was, yeah, well, I mean, when I used to watch it with Floyd, it would have been during the Monday Night Wars. Right. I mean, there was there was groups of people where we could go watch it, and it was. I mean, that was the thing for us. Yeah. That I mean, I always enjoyed doing it. Um, I think I watched more wrestling than I watched. Sports. Yeah. I mean, I have my teams in sports, and they only play so often, but wrestling. Wrestling is always on. Always on. on. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Do you have anybody uh, anybody who hooked you in, as, like as a fan, you know what I mean? But, like, do you remember? Oh, yeah, Bret I mean, Hart. Bret Hart, Hart for yeah. sure was my first. Yeah, the, he was he was my the guy. He was my guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, that's my guy. And then the older I got, I was like, oh, I still love Bret, but. Yeah. I, you learn to appreciate different things about different guys mm -hmm. and and what they brought to the table. I, yeah. I, it's just well, and going through the you know the other the thing I don't uh, wrestling fans today I don't know they're awful. For, for, well, no, they're well, no, 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 no. I, but, well, I'm talking about like like for our age group, we we hit high school right as the Monday Night Wars were hitting. Mm -hmm. Like being you know being that young guy, how can you not like you know like like that age just for for young men that age? How can you not like the Rock and oh, Stone Cold DX running the, DX yeah. yeah you know what I mean some guy calling himself badass and then calling himself Mister Ass yeah you know and what Sting I mean Sting coming from the rafters and Sting the, yeah you know and the, and the NWO just yeah. like it was it was a time of rebels right and like we were just like we were just hit us right at that perfect that rebellion age right you know what I and mean? it was so. and and to to be fair most of them I mean in what I grew, started growing up in, in in wrestling there was a good guy and a bad guy right but the bad guy line was pushed and and i think i think everybody always goes back to stone cold being the guy that goes he was the first tweener the first bad guy that was no go back and check out razor ramon at the beginning right. razor ramon was the bad guy yeah. I, I mean and he and that i always thought he was the first one that started that and it was absolutely it, it and and it, it i think that became the beginning of the protag like being the bad guy being the protagonist yeah I mean, and if you look forward into society now with all the shows, the po most popular in Sons of Anarchy, mm -hmm. bad dudes. Right. <laughs> but right. we rooted for Jax anyway. Yep. Uh, Breaking Bad. Make drugs. Yeah. Rooting for them. Yep. That, I mean, and that's the majority of them. Uh, Vic Mackey, bad cop. Still bad want cop. him to get out. Yeah. But, the, and it changed, that wrestling, I think, changed the way people view everything. I agree with that. I yeah. See that. All right, so... Your fan, fan since you're ten, watch yeah. all through, and then then all of a sudden here comes this this guy Scotty Cash, yeah, comes and, and invites you to come uh, 
come to the school with him. Well, uh, I'll uh, come to yeah. Don't call the school. <laughs> no, it was a wrestling school. No, it was, it was not. It was a clubhouse. <laughs> well, it was definitely a clubhouse. It was disgusting. But... <laughs> there was no desks. There's there was no a desk. there was a shirtless Rob on a couch. <laughs> well, and there was but, a Lucas there. You know what though? I, I was talking to Chuck about this, and and that's kind of the the thing. You know, and I think he missed all that. Well, he missed all that. Right. But um, he started at GAW right. way after that. Um, but there's like a thing a thing in wrestling, um, and I I, I I gotta believe it's it's got to be doubly worse now. Mm-hmm. Um, but you think because you hear school, you're like, oh, I'm I'm gonna go to a wrestling school, right? And you you grown up on WWE right. and WCW and multi billion dollar corporations and glitz and glamour and pyro and stuff. So when you yeah. think when you think wrestling school, you think like the performance center. I'm, yeah, the before you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to college. Yeah, I'm going to college no. to learn how to wrestle. There's no books no. here. And every every wrestling school except for the performance center. Like you show up and there's you know it's it's in a warehouse right you know probably mm-hmm. uh, probably on a there's run, no on a drywall run, no the walls drywall. are made out of plywood yep, every on run, one of them on a rundown side yep. of town yep. you know and it's just this grimy you know dirty no heat no air like you're you're freezing in the winter and sweating in the summer yeah um, and that's how it always is and that's how for for us for Midwest Wrestling Lines at the time right yep. it was in <clears throat> it was in a uh, theater, mm-hmm. a closed theater, right on the bad side of town. Ah, there was okay, yeah. Not the worst side of town. It, it well, no, I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't think there's a bad side of town. <laughs> well, it's, I, mean, I mean, in comparison, I mean, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't the Fifth Ward in, in Chicago. No, like, it no, wasn't, it wasn't no. Evanston. <laughs> <laughs> well, know? yeah, but it was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't out. You know, it wasn't out west. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Right. It wasn't the glitz yeah. and glamour area. Yeah. It wasn't. No, it's, it's, and it's, they never are. No, they, they never. You know are. why? Because rent's too high. Because <laughs> rent's too high. Yeah. For sure, man. Yeah, and that's what. And it they was. expect all of the us degenerates and high school kids to come in and chip in on rent. <laughs> well, most, I mean, most schools are charging. We were we were well, lucky yeah. in the Midwest because New Mid- oh, uh, New, well, New, Midwest, Midwest Wrestling Midwest. Alliance MWA, New, which became New Midwest. Um, they were just you know it was like twenty five a month. And eventually, I think they bumped it to fifty a month. Right. Um, you know, most places it's like three grand flat. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I think for, for the same for the same quality. <laughs> you know, it's it's not like I those places even, are nice. Right. And I don't even. I will. I mean, those those schools are fantastic with with what those guys do and the, <clears throat> the guys that run them and stick with it and push those guys through. I think that's fantastic in the way that it should be done. Right. I think Midwest Wrestling Alliance. And our group of guys did something so special that will never be duplicated ever again because you took everybody's ideas together. There wasn't, there was, there was a correct way to fall down. There was a correct way to do this, but but doing it our way allowed everybody to find themselves. Mm-hmm. And it and it was one of those things that, I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. You you'll never get that again because it, it's it's all based on the way one trainer does things. The way now he'll tell you a thousand times you got to find yourself in this you got to find yourself in this. I don't think it comes that easy to some people. Yeah. Like like if if you'd have put me through one of those and you said okay this way this way as opposed to us going out and learning as we went. It was it was I don't think that can be duplicated. Yeah. It was not at all. It was friends helping friends. It wasn't people there competing for a spot for the trainer for a spot on a show. It wasn't it wasn't yeah. it was all of us helping each other getting better and i don't yeah. think i don't think that i think that's one thing that people miss from yeah. training now yeah i can yeah. see that yeah well let's well let's let's get into it let's talk about that mm-hmm. um so you should we should we should yeah, <laughs> i'm the i haven't even seen you, you touch your beer and i'm I, no, yeah. i'm working on it um no I just, I just do that anyway man that's just my my bad uh no so you show up and yeah. uh we're in the you're in the theater yeah walk in um, Rob's, Rob's a, shirtless on the couch. Yeah, walk past <laughs> him, walk through these doors, don't know what to expect, see the ring all the way down at the bottom of the theater. <laughs> and it's up against the wall, and I'm, yeah. I see these guys in there. And, you know, like I said, I, I felt good walking in, knowing that I was an athlete and I could walk in there. Did the first night of training, learn how to bump, you know, the flat back bump, yep. grab the rope bump, the front flip bump. All thought I nailed it. Did. Felt great. Next day, couldn't walk. 
<laughs> at all. Next day after that, couldn't walk again. Yeah. Two days, I stayed home from school and everything because I couldn't get out of bed. I was wow. so sore. Yeah. And it took a lot for me to go, man, is it worth it to do that again? Yeah. And I went back. What made you decide to go back? What made you decide it was going to be worth two days? I had two days of your life gone. Well, probably how much fun I had that first night. Meeting okay. me, I love meeting new people. Yeah, and I met a lot of a lot of new people, and just instantly had chemistry with everybody. Every like I had fun. Yeah, I was hurting myself. I didn't notice because I was laughing. I was yeah. interested in learning, and it was just a fun atmosphere to be around. And nobody was there to judge anybody. Nobody was like. You know what I mean? Yep. No matter how many times you messed up, it was, all right, man, we'll get it. Come on. Yep. And it was just, all right, I owe it to myself to give myself another chance at this. And, yeah, it was it was great. Yep. I, I, your body became accustomed to it. I, You know, after the first year and a half, I didn't get bruises from the ropes anymore. <laughs> I didn't. And, 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 the only, and, and to be honest with you, the reason I kept going back was like, I really want to jump off that top rope. Mm. I, I I really really want to see what that's about. I right. want to see what I can do off of this. I've had a trampoline forever and pretended I built ropes around my trampoline. Doug Doug put two by fours down, put ropes around my trampoline, and they, let's you can't if, jump off those though. No, I no not at all. Right. No 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 <laughs> right. no. You can't even yeah, yeah. You you can think about climbing them. Yeah. But it's not gonna happen. Right. So you can pretend. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, I owe it to myself to get back there try, and I did. And I fell in love with it. Then I started getting like way too full of myself jumping off of the top rope doing 450s all the stuff that i would never attempt now or in a match probably <laughs> but i could yeah. sure do them onto that crash on pad crash really pad. nice yeah yep. yeah but that was yeah that was it and um god what else let's see the you remember your the, first match yeah i do it was me scotty cash versus rip mystic okay and and Tom Arson, and we had Magic Man in our corner, and they had LPC in their corner. I have that match on Do tape. You? Yeah. Oh, it's not going to see the light of day. <laughs> like, the only positive about that was what I looked like with my shirt off. That was it. The rest of it, I looked like a bumbling buffoon. Ah, uh, no, man. First match. Yeah, it was. We got to get that out. We gotta no, we don't. That. No. We get that I on, mean, if you want, you can see Facebook. Drunk Magic Man. <laughs> throw that's, like, that's my favorite part. Yeah. I mean, that's that's about it. But, uh, yeah, that was my first match there. Okay. Didn't really know what I was doing. I mean, yeah. it was, I couldn't tell you what wrestling was then. Right. I, I didn't understand it. I just knew, okay, well, normally I see this on TV. I'll do this move here or we'll. We'll come up with something. And then I remember being in a match by myself the first time there. And it had to be years, like, uh, not years, I would say a couple months down the road. And they were like, hey, you're going to wrestle LPC tonight. And I remember going out and wrestling Luke and coming back. I didn't know what to think of it. I thought we did well. Yeah. And I came back and, and Rob and Justin were like, that was awesome. That was great, you guys. And I was like, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I had no clue what I had just done. Like, I, I couldn't tell you a move. I couldn't tell you if, it, like, I don't have video of it. I can't tell you what happened, but right. it felt right. It felt good. And, and when they told me that, I was like, all right, I'm in. Yeah. I'm hooked. I'm in. Um, yeah. And that was, that was, then there was what? We went from there to Stockyard. Did we go to Stockyard first? Yeah, we went to Stockyard mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Yeah. Moved, the, the gym moved. The gym moved to, to out to Stockyard. <clears throat> yep. And I wrestled a couple matches. That was the infamous match that I wrestled out there. The infamous when, match. Well, to me, yeah. In my mind. <laughs> what was infamous about it? Since the day I started, Rob wanted me to do a springboard clothesline. Okay. And we practiced. And we practiced. And we practiced. And I nailed it every single time. Springboard, springboard, yep. springboard. I could do it. First time I was wrestling Ox. You remember Ox? <laughs> I remember Ox. And they, I think I saw him in Beardstown not too long ago. Probably. But, but uh, we were, I was wrestling Ox, and I had set up the spot, and I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. It. I'm going to go for it. And I had friends from high school there, and they hate wrestling, but they came to support came me. To see you. Yeah, they came, they came to support me, and they hated wrestling and thought it was dumb. And I remember getting out there, and I was like, all right, I'm going to nail this, and everybody – and then – I got the first foot up there. Second foot got stuck on the rope, and I fell flat on my face, almost knocked myself out, right? Okay. So 
Ox comes over to me, looks down, and goes, hey. And I go, power bomb me, dumbass. And he picked me up and just threw me down. And from the crowd, I hear one of my buddies go, get back on the top rope again, asshole. And I went, well, I should probably just retire right now. <laughs> I don't remember how that Does match it. finished. I don't remember anything after that. I don't remember a match after that. All I remember is, get back on the top rope, asshole. And... and that was, I mean, that was... Just, did you just run out of the ring crying? No, no, I don't. Oh, I, no, no, no. I, I knocked myself pretty good. I wouldn't yeah, run no, anywhere. I got you. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't remember any matches after that. All I know is that, like, I left to move to Florida at that mm-hmm. time. Um, I decided to move down to Fort Myers Beach where my dad lived and yep. spent some time down there. Try to go to school. Um well, I mean, since we'll skip that whole part, but while you know, while I'm living down there, I get occasional, you know, things. And my mom would send sent me that Illinois Times article, yeah, where you guys had finally gotten some publicity, and <laughs> and, and I mean, yeah. and it was and everything was taken off. You guys and you guys had were there. Yep. You, the the Illinois Times article with the fire and the thing that was ridiculous. But right. you got, I mean, then it was Soccer World, and I, I like I was, I was like, man, I should totally be doing this. Mm-hmm. But, you know, life is what yeah, life what is. is. And, yeah. yeah, and I was down there for three and a half, four years. And I I remember coming back and visiting. Yeah. We were at a party. And then we went to the new place that was the old dry ice building when we were visiting. Yeah. After drinking for, <laughs> for a long time. And, and then Rob, I forget, Rob's like, you guys should have a match. And I remember it was me, Danny, Dread Walker. Oh. And I don't remember who else was in there, but I remember it was like a fatal four way, and I'm like, yeah. we're smashed. I haven't wrestled in four years, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, just get, you, it'll come back to you. Fine, I get in there, we're goofing around. I don't know what a Japanese arm drag is because we never learned that back <laughs> in the day. Danny calls it to me, throws me off the ropes. I just run right past him and keep running because I was like, nope, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And yeah, it was. Yeah, it was one of those things where I was like, I finally remember that because our dread was like, okay, do this and then give me your move and then that's it. And I go, this is a fake match. Just kick me and pin me. I don't deserve to win, <laughs> even though this is a fake match. I haven't been here. I'm not going to do that. Um, shortly after that, I moved back home and I mean, yeah. we were, it was back to uh, the USA Sports Center. Right. Is where, yeah. And that was. USA Sports Center was awesome, man. Yeah. I, those days were awesome. I don't feel like I was – I for sure wasn't in my prime back then. Like, I was just essentially put back on new footing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I yeah. I realized when I got back, you guys had advanced so far beyond where I even was when I left. Like, it was, it was leaps and bounds of, yeah. you know – the, it was, even, it, even, it had been a couple of years, right? Four. Four years? Was yeah. Four years? Yeah. Wow. Three and a, it was three and a half, four years. Yeah. yeah. And, and I had, I walked back in there, and I was like, well, I can still do this. I thought I was pretty good. Yeah. And then walking in there and seeing all these the guys and the new guys that were coming in, and it was like, well, I'm going to have to start from the bottom again. Mm-hmm. And How was my that? Na- tough pill to swallow? Yeah, it, or? Well, it, I don't think it was a tough pill to swallow because, I, you know, I, I, I recognize my place in life. Like, right. I, I, I understand things. Was I... I didn't think my athletic ability could carry me anymore. Okay. I knew I had to find something that made me stand out, made me earn a spot, yeah. made me, you know, do that. I knew I had to go back through the paces of sweep drills yeah. with all these guys and, and getting, <laughs> you know, getting back in the ring, going through training where the first guy, you know, this guy's in there for the first time. He's 500 pounds. He wants to lay on me in a sweep drill. His name was Madman. <laughs> yep. I can barely breathe. He's on me. I'm supposed to kick out. I don't want to kick out. I can't, you know what I mean? Going through that with Casey and those new guys. I think that kind of reinvigorated me too, is seeing all these new guys coming through. And I was like, okay, I'm going to jump in with these guys. And I had my time at the beginning. Let's wipe that away. Let's start and be a part of this group. You know what I mean? It's kind of like be a part of this generation. Um, and it was fun, man. Mar like Marvel. All those guys were right then and, and coming and I was like, All right, I'm gonna take as much as I can from you training and everybody training and it was and try to piece this whole thing together. Yeah. Um luckily I which, had which is what we were all doing, man. Like Well yeah, yeah, you but, know what I mean? but you guys had all the ring time, you had the you know what I mean? <clears throat> right. You came in you came I mean, you came in and you came in with 
more knowledge of the actual part of wrestling than I, than I did. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I you always I, seem to understand it more than than I did. I, uh, as far as a how to put things together, what yeah. belongs where, what pieces where. Whereas I just thought it was moves at the time. Right. I didn't. I, I wasn't thinking th- that way at the time. So. Yeah. I was like, if I do the coolest move on the show, then people will remember that. Right. Hey, that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not in the long term. No. It might matter that night. Uh, no. It might, ma- it, might ma- it might matter that minute. Yeah. 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 But it, it's, yeah, so I got back in there and I yep. was like, okay, I'll be a part of this, this young up and coming group and yep. try to fit back in, even though technically I'm, you know, one of the, one of the older guys here. And it worked out. I got back into the spots, and, you know, as soon as I started getting, I mean, it was, what, my first comeback was with 4GQ. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, yeah, 4GQ beat me yeah. up. Um, and, yeah, my first match back was, what, Mr. Elite in a hardcore match, and you guys came out and whooped my ass after that. And I think, I was like, oh, this was, and that, to this day, that that video was awesome. We yeah. planned, like, that was worth the four corners, and I said, no way, I'm going after one of these dudes, and then you guys all jumped me. Yep. That was still fantastic. What was it, two weeks later, I blew my ACL out? Was it? Yeah. I was like, yep, I'm back, I'm, they're going to let me in the shows, and <laughs> watch this. Boom, blew man, it out. That's how it goes, man. Yeah, it was. And then, I mean, by the time my knee got healed, we were... Out of USA Sp- Sports of the, Center, yeah. we went over to the the America bingo Center, hall. Yep. yep. So, how'd you hurt yourself? Playing basketball against the WQLZ guys that were there that said they could beat us at basketball. Yeah. Yep. They, they were out there playing, and they're like, "Well, we, you're just wrestlers." I go, huh, "Okay." <laughs> All right. I'm I'm okay in there. I'm right. really good right here. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, I was killing them. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going for a rebound. It wasn't anything bit. I was just, just tipping a rebound up so I could keep it away because I knew I could get higher and I was taller and jump. And I was just jumping and I jumped and I came down and I heard pop and I just fell over and I, Ugh. it was, it was terrible. Yeah. And I don't think, I knew it hurt, but I started crying right then because I knew I was just lost my spot yeah i just i mean i i didn't have health insurance either right and and that was the next part is is yeah i didn't have surgery yeah. i walked on it for a year and a half with Ugh. nothing there acl Jeez. pcl mcl all gone yeah but you do what you got to do and right. i you know i gave it enough time off where at the american center i started wrestling yeah did you ever get surgery yeah i did yeah i ended okay. up having it um i ended up having it shit i don't even remember what year it was it would have been 2006, 2005 or 2006 is when okay. I have it. Because I remember being at home while you guys are having a show at the American Center. And Kim, my wife, and my daughter Brooklyn had, were at the show. They mm-hmm. were like, I was like, I'll meet you guys there. Um, I was still at, you know, the house I was living at with my buddies. And the Illini game was on and it was the final four or the final four and they were playing in that game. And I'm like, I'm not leaving. The, like I can't do anything. I'm not leaving until this is over. And right. they made that miraculous comeback in that game. And I, that's like, I remember that night because I was on the floor crying about that game going, come on, come on, come on. And they ended up winning and then going to the thing. And I remember just crutches and yeah. you know, me with my Illini Jersey on at the thing. And I was like, well, we won, but I still can't participate in the show. Right. So that, and I knew that that's kind of how I time stamped that surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so like that was your decision night. Or that was right after. That was that was that was like right. a couple like a couple like a week and a half after I had the I surgery. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Okay. I couldn't do anything because yeah. I had the surgery. Yep. Um. But yeah, that was. Yeah, that was that was just how I, I just that's how I remember it because yeah. I remember getting my crutches after the game to go to the thing because gotcha. I never had crutches before with I had them for like I may have borrowed them from Rob or the gym that were bent or something. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. We had so many pairs of crutches just yeah. laying around. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. and mine were donated as soon as I was done with mm-hmm. them. I was like, here, go hit somebody with this. Yep, hit hit them or have them for when somebody else got hurt. Yeah, they were always all bent. Some of them, some of them had like the padding on the oh, yeah. shoulder post. Some of them didn't. Yeah, one of them had a towel taped around the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, All right, man. So rehab, what's the comeback like? I are you in the gym re- all the time, just thinking on the ring? Do you hang a hang a picture of the rock up, <laughs> put your face on it? No, no, oh, no. no. 
I, I knew I wanted to get back in there. I just wanted to, you know, at the time I was working out, I was pushing myself, doing the PT to get back in the ring. And yep. I got back in slowly. I mean, I knew I had already lost whatever momentum that we had, but at the time it wasn't, it wasn't, it was more of a, I was a second fiddle to Scott because that was Scott's run, right. you know, with the title. And I was always a hot boy. I'd never really broken out and found my own path, yeah. per se. Um, when I came back, it was, I knew we, we were separated and mm-hmm. it was time to, you know, carve Ben's out of the hot boys and just go my own separate ways. And, you know, I, I had, you know, didn't understand at the time that, you know, just cause I was put in the first match didn't mean I was the worst one. Right. In my head, that was like, Hey, if you're not, you know, doing this, then you, you're yeah. at the first, you yeah. you, you just get done. Yeah. Get and now, my- now. Give me the first match every time. Every <laughs> Give it to me. Well, you know, I operate I operate under the full like the two the, the Main first event. match is the sec is the second most important match. I agree. You know, absolutely. And and the people that don't take advantage of being the mm-hmm. being there first is nuts because you got first of all you got a crowd that's ready right. for wrestling. They they don't care what it is. Yeah. They they came there for wrestling. You're the first one out the gate. Yep. Um and you get to relax afterwards. Yeah. Like you're done. Like you're done. You're yeah, done you're, early. You're done. You don't <laughs> yeah, have to yeah. sit there for two and a half hours <laughs> and go, oh, I don't want to talk about the match. We got two hours left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. Why are you not dressed? Well, because there's still 45 minutes. I'll get yeah. dressed in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't understand it at the time. So I was, you know, doing the first match and starting to create my niche. And I, I did about that time I decided, okay, how am I going to find myself? How, what am I going to do that's going to make a difference? And I decided I'm going to connect with one person in the crowd every time I go out there. If it happens to be more, that's fine. But I'm going to go out there, and I'm literally going to sell to one person, one kid, one lady, whatever. I'm going to make them believe we're best friends and their friends losing a fight or winning. Right. And it and it worked. I mean, it did. I would I would go out. I'd find somebody. I'd be like, okay, well, this person's going to be seems to be invested in me. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to talk to him through the whole match. Yeah. Um, I I didn't like some people sell a different way than I did. I I would sell to that person. Right. I would sell. I would talk to them the whole time. Like it wasn't a how uh, uh, this dude just hit me in the nose. Somebody, hey, come over here, find my contact. Like. I'll talk my way through the entire match, and it and it worked, yeah. and then people bought into it. It was like, hey, he's he's really talking to us. It's not he's not just out there focused on something else, and that that really helped me, and it, it helped. I mean, it helped create Ben's. Ben's was, I mean, it is was always will be a man of the fans because they they put me in my position of where I am. They put me here. Mm-hmm. Um, I just. I just went out there and tried to connect with everybody I could. And yeah. that's what, you know, eventually gave me the chance to have that main event run with Danny. Um, that was super fun. Yeah. Just the, the, I mean, the chase. Well, that was, is that your next uh, milestone? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so I mean, well, we've had the hot boys won tag titles and stuff back and forth back in the day, but it right. wasn't, it wasn't a, back then it was a clubhouse. You yeah. know what I mean? When there wasn't paying shows, you weren't right. anything. Um, Take nothing away from those shows; they were fun right, and awesome, yeah. but they weren't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a serious indie show. Right. It right. wasn't a serious indie show where you know guys were making, getting yeah. paid. I mean, okay. And we even called them at the time; they were practice shows. Right. Right. Yeah. They were. There were people sitting on couches that yeah. didn't pay for a ticket. Yeah. So. Friends and family and. Yep. Yep. But laying on the crash pads and yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That so. first time that 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 was my first time getting what, what they call the rub, the the push to. Mm-hmm. To go, hey, yeah. it's your turn. So we're, so we're several years removed from the practice shows. Yes, and we've been running we've been running guys, shows for for several years. Right, I would say seven years removed seven from years there. At yeah. Least. yeah, seven years removed from the from the uh, original start date. Yep, and yeah, there was that I got to put into that. That run with Danny, where okay. I was chasing him and chasing him, had to do so all. Danny spot, spotlight, spent spotlight, 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 right. Yeah, sorry, who, who, Pixel Dan, Pixel Dan, yeah. as he's more well known for now. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was he was the champion. The I I got to do a lot of cool things then. Yeah, like, like what? Uh, wrestled uh, zero gravity by okay. myself. Yeah, like just doing those. You know, having to overcome humps and humps and. 
and I remember wrestling Zero Gravity, and I and then I had to wrestle the. Um, God, what was, so so was Zero Kane's Gravity for 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 those who don't know, Zero Gravity was a tag team. Still is right, and you so you wrestled them by yourself. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then and then it was who was um, Kane and the other one, Jason. They were the hybrids. The hybrids. Then okay, I had to yep. wrestle that tag yep. team. I remember both times showing up and going, do you guys really, like, I realize what's <laughs> happening, but do you really want me to lose my breath that bad? Like, <laughs> like, like, you know, zero, both these guys, they kind of work the same. Mm-hmm. Fast. Just, yeah, those are, yeah. yeah. Like, Very I mean, they're, they're, fa- they're all fantastic workers and work, knew how to work with me. But at the time, I was a little, oh, man, I... I can't do all these flips or keep up with all of them, but it yeah. worked out and yeah. they, they worked and made me look like a million bucks and um, finally got back finally got to the spot where it was me and spotlight. And yeah. that was, an, that was, that was awesome, man. That was the night I, that I got the championship meant the world to me because yeah. I finally felt like I was back and accepted. There you go. Like I felt like I was like, okay, I know the four years that I was gone kind of passed me by and all these guys. And, and I never, Never was not a part of the group, but it right. always felt like an outsider because yeah. I had was gone for so long. So it was coming back, and it was, hey, you're, you're not. Yeah, a, I didn't feel a part of the inner circle, and, and 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 it wasn't anybody's fault but my own in my head. Right. But I, you know, and I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel accepted. I felt like I didn't. But that night, I, it finally all came together, and I was like, okay. Awesome. That, yeah, I finally yeah I earned it. This <laughs> yeah. is it, and and I just ran from there. And you're back now. Yeah, it was, it was. Hey, I'm back. Let's see what I can do. I carried the belt for a year. Yeah, which was really hard for a face to do. Um, I mean, they usually yeah. It was. I mean, and nowadays. I mean, it was it was common. You know, for a well, long yeah, time. for a long yeah. time it was. But I mean, nowadays you, you, the chase is more important. And I, and to be honest with you, I think the chase is the most important part. Yeah. The, the payoff's nice, but the the uh, I don't know. I don't know where we were. You're talking. You just won the belt. Oh yeah, just won, yeah. I, I carried it for a so while. Any, any memories? Well, let's let's let's. Well, yeah, you know the memory, dude. That, well, well, I, I want the memory. Um, you have any any memories of your match with Spotlight? Other than other than that, it happened and that. No, no. other than the. I mean, what, other, what show was that? At? When when was that? Do you remember? Uh-uh. No. no. <laughs> 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 no, uh, uh, I, I so. was, I was, I, I mean, that's, I think that's the worst part about wrestling is, is I knew what was coming, but I, it almost the 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 wondering what happens when it actually happens. Right. I don't remember any of that match. <laughs> like I don't, I knew it was coming at the end. Yeah. And 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 Spotlight being such a professional, I knew I didn't have to worry about it. Right. So I could go out there, do what he told me to do, do what I knew I was going to do, and. It would work itself out, and the whole time I'm just sitting there. Okay, does anybody gonna care? Right. Is 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 does this mean more to me than everybody else? Which yeah. obviously it did in the end. But at the same point, it's like, okay, and yeah, the whole that whole match I don't remember. Like some of the like I I went back and watch it, and it's yeah. fantastic. But that wasn't that was all spotlight because right. I wasn't mentally I was already checked out. Yeah, Danny was, was pretty good at that point. Yeah, Danny was. I mean, he's still pretty good. He was he was firing on all cylinders then, so he yeah. could have carried he could have carried a broomstick through that match. Well, that's hurtful, but not yeah, that, no, I'm not saying you're a broomstick. <laughs> no. I'm just saying it's no, it's good. It. No, it's good sometimes when you have those big moments, um, and you don't have to. You know, you can you can live that moment, right? And you know, you're not in your head, and you know yeah. what I mean. Not overthinking mm-hmm. everything, or t- yeah. And I wasn't, and that was that. Yeah, I guess if in retrospect, right. that would have been if I was more concentrating on. Okay, he'd be here, be here, be here. It wouldn't have been as good. Yeah. Well, you know, I've I've talked to I, I know a lot of guys, and I, I think that's a thing a lot of guys overlook or lose sight of um, as as they're looking for those big moments, as they're having those big moments. Instead of living those big moments, they're stressing about those big moments. Yeah, and I, I can see that, that for you know, sure. Yeah, and I think that's why. Um, some of those guys burn out and some of those guys make it through this thing that they love, that they're supposed to love, that they grew up watching, that they have this passion for. And it just, you know, slowly burns out and they become bitter about it. And it's not, you know, I mean, there are politics and people get, you know, spots they shouldn't get and people get passed over when they shouldn't get passed over. Like all that stuff happens, but that's not the stuff that burns you out. The stuff that burns you out is not, 
enjoying the moments that you have. I think I agree. You know, 100%, what I mean? yeah. yeah. So and and I uh, throughout my career, I never played politics. Right. I never. I stayed out of all of it yep. because there's only essentially one. Well, depending on how many people are in the crowd that matter. Right. The people that paid their money to be there. Right. And that didn't. The the rest of the backstage stuff. It'll t- it'll work itself out. I don't want to. I don't need to be worried about so and so being here or so and so getting a belt or so and so winning. Yeah, it doesn't matter. For sure. It, 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 the people out there that spent their money is always what mattered. Yep. And and yeah, I en- I enjoyed every moment. Yep. Um, I no, there. I mean, there was some. I'm sure bad times and stuff like that too. But <laughs> there were accidents. It yeah. wasn't intentional. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. Uh. Um, but back to that time at the the where like when I was the mm-hmm. champion, I got to. The whole November rain card was filled out, and the champion wasn't on there. I was like, "Hey, what are we gonna? You know, what are I gonna do?" He's like, "Call out." I go, "I mean, Madman's hot. Let's do this." Yeah. And that match to this day um, was one of my favorite all time matches, just because it was split. The house was split. Yeah. And I never, you know what I mean. I know it was two good guy, two over guys, two good mm-hmm. guys or whatever going at it, and it went, it may not have been the most technical match in the world. But everybody in the building picked a side. I was gonna say the crowd. The crowd doesn't care about yeah. that technical. No, no, <laughs> the technical match. Right. Everybody in the crowd picked a side, yeah. and it was it was. I heard people wanting me to die. Mm-hmm. I heard. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Moab wanted me to die that day. Yeah. And but yeah, that was just. It was one of those things where I went, man. This match was. It was. It was more a match for the crowd. The yeah. crowd was the match because. Right. I don't remember anything we did. Yeah. But I could remember them going back and forth going, Oh, they bought that one. Yeah. Bought that one. It was fantastic, man. That was that was that was one of my favorite all time matches. That's awesome. Um But yeah, that that was any, I think that was the end of memories from that title run? No. Who won that match? Did Batman win that match? No, I did. Okay. I yeah, I, I didn't think so. You just, no, I tried to pick him up three times. That was the that was the story we were telling. And okay. the third time I finally got him. <laughs> you know, like there that story go. hasn't been played yeah. before, but it worked. Uh, hey, yeah. Um, old stories are the best stories. And uh, let's see, what other? Oh, yeah. During that time, I was wrestling. You said remembered, but this is going to be the opposite of that. <laughs> I remember wrestling. This would have been after Madman. I remember wrestling Michael Shard. Oh, okay. And I remember um, John Magnus was the referee. Mm-hmm. So it was started building that feud between him and I which essentially culminated like that was my feud yeah the whole my the majority of my career it was me and Magnus um but I was wrestling Shard and I remember whipping him off the ropes and him looking me dead in the eye and I like looking he goes powerbomb it's not what he said apparently (laughs) right okay but that's what I heard (laughs) right so he whips me off and I'm running towards him, trying to figure out why I'm running. And he said, power bomb. <laughs> and he mid-ring leaps. And I went, well, he said, power bomb. And I just snatched him out of midair and fed him a power bomb. The meanest one I've probably <laughs> ever given in my life. And all I remember is he didn't, he went, he didn't make a sound. Yeah. He didn't move. He didn't do anything. And I went to cover him. And Magnus goes, hey. I go, make him get, I said, he's kicking out. And he was unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Right. So, right. so he, you know, one, two, I sell off like he kicked out and he finally comes to and Magnus and me get yeah. into it. So it gives him a little time to get his back. And then I remember him taking back over, you know, low blowing me or something, taking back over on the match. And then all I remember is he says, stay here. And I was on my back. And the next thing I know is I see shards pants above my head <laughs> And the lights went out. <laughs> okay. And I don't remember anything after that. Right. I remember the tape because it was the night where there was, it was the, it was the, it was before a Brawltoberfest. So they wanted that to end in a smaz. Yeah. I don't remember anything. <laughs> right. Right. Because he had landed completely on my head. Yeah. With his ass. And I was asleep too. <laughs> so one unconscious guy not made me unconscious. And I, I mean, that's the, like all I can remember is going, yeah. oh, he's too far. He's <laughs> yeah. <and laughs> that doesn't look right. No. And that was, that was, yeah, that was the last memory I have of, of the American Center. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I wrestled Toga there at the, to- the, the center once. That was, 
that's always sticks in my head because of you know yeah. Toga being gone and all. But other than that, that was then it was on the Lanfear, man. Yeah, okay. yeah. So let's move on, Lanfear. Lanfear. So you're so you so, so now we we move to Lanfear. You, you've had your title run. I your, lost my championship the last match before we went to Lanfear. The last to match John before Magnus. we went to Lanfear. Yep. Okay. He um, uh, I, I remember that he called me. It was a some big Smaz tag match where it was like, okay, and we got done, and he, I was walking away from the match. We had, I don't remember even how it ended. I just remember I was walking to the back, and he grabbed the microphone, and he started talking to my family, like calling me a sissy and yeah. talking to my wife, and, you know, it was part of the story, but right. at the same point, it's like, yeah. all right, and he go, <laughs> you know, he goaded me back in, yeah. got the match, stole the, stole the belt, and yep. that's how we, you know, that's how we went. Yep. Um Sadly, that was the last time I got to carry a heavyweight championship. But uh, you know, different yeah. paths, different, different paths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. done other stuff. Yeah, it was fun. I always yeah. tried to find the fun in everything. So right. uh, then on the land fair, and man, I don't even remember what we started was, in the. That that was a land fair. That was that was towards the end of New Midwest. It right? was, yeah, yeah. It was and, definitely yeah, winding that, down my at land fair. That's that's my main memory of Lamphere. I know I wrestled at Lamphere for New Midwest a lot. And, yeah, uh, I, I had, I, I'm pretty sure that was when I was fresh back from Harley's. Yes, it was. And you it, and Billy were back because yeah. Billy came back and we feuded when he first came back. Yeah, he actually when you guys first came back, he cost me the cage match against Trip C. Yeah, and that was his comeback. Was okay. yeah, yeah. So, so I did have a cage match there. Oh, there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't remember a bunch from that era either. It was it was definitely on a wind down. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, I distinctly remember getting inducted into the New Midwest Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that oh, no? it was happening. Yeah. Um, actually, I do remember that night because you were telling me you need to be you need to be up front. We got something to do at the end of the show. You got something to do at the end of the show. And I was right. like, I kept, and I know I kept bothering you because you were like, <laughs> and I know you were laughing every time you walked away after, after, after I came to the realization, I thought there was going to be a run in or something like that. And Toga went out and announced that I was going to be, you know, inducted to the hall of fame. And I went out there and accepted it and came back. And I was like, dude, I'm so sorry to you. Cause <laughs> I was, I was like, you got to tell me what's going on. You just wanted me out there. So I could hear. Right. Whereas I'm worried about, okay, well, what am I doing? What, it, like who, what, why am I doing it? What it, and yeah, that had nothing to do with anything. Yeah. You just wanted me out there. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely remember that. Um, and that would probably be my last big memory of new Midwest. I wrestled, I mean, new Midwest, I wrestled, uh, Justin Clark a lot, um, but that would have been, I guess, the second trip back to the to the American Center. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, it would have been it would have been Justin and me refuted a lot when I was champion. Did you? Yeah, um, yeah, I always had fun with him too. Yeah. Um, who? Yeah. I, I, other than that, I, that's the new Mid, the new Midwest winding down was. I mean, we made the Monsters of the Midwest, or the right. yeah, the Monsters of the Midwest was was a play on my Bears' favorite Bears, the Monsters of the Midway. But I was like, well, me and Madman ain't got nothing going on. This will be fun. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, so that was a tag team. You yeah, were, yeah, you and yeah. Madman. Yeah, it was. It was super fun. People loved it. Yeah. but it was. I mean, it was what it was. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> you know, it was a. Yeah, was, hey, hey, here's a pop for you. Yep. Yep. We'll just we'll yep. just do these two guys. Yeah, these two these guys. Yeah, just yeah. these two guys go out, get the crowd, get the crowd behind you, throw somebody around, and call it a day. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was the end of New Midwest. Yeah. So when New Midwest ends. You don't you don't do anything. Mm -mm. You didn't you didn't go anywhere else right until PWA right. Yeah, I never. I mean, I. Mean, before I had yeah. traveled occasionally, right? Um, if somebody wanted a travel partner or you know RCW, I never went to GAW. Um, well, I and okay to be fair to define my wrestling career and all of this, yep. I never went out and asked anybody. Right, I wouldn't beg for bookings. I would not. I not. I won't say that it's been. It was beneath me. It's mm -hmm. just not the way I wanted to operate. If yeah. somebody wanted me to be a part of their show or saw something in me, I wanted them to ask me. Right. So. Yeah, the opportunities weren't always there. But if it, you know what I mean, if somebody asked me to be a part of the show, then mm -hmm. yeah, I would try to find yeah. a way to go be a part of the show and do the best I could. But I wasn't one of those people that was just going to go out and go book me, book me, book me. Because right. a lot of these guys, 
make this a, make a living out of this and that's how they make money that was that was never my intention i did it to you know just to, for the love of doing it and then hanging out with my it was a three hours i got to hang out with my friends i got right. to go out and be cool for a little <laughs> bit you know what i mean yeah. and and that was the way i saw it now if i if somebody asked me to come at some point i would go but it that was it wasn't for lack of not wanting to go it was yeah. just the lack of well i wasn't asked so yeah, yeah. and i guess i could have asked could have you know built a bigger name but mm-hmm. yeah i was happy with where i was at and what yeah. i was doing after new midwest i didn't you know do anything i came to pwa when i think you had been there mm-hmm. justin had been there mm-hmm. and i think that was about it that was there i mean sage might have been there too but that well was, you can't you can't i think you came back when was the quonset hut come back right the quonset hut yeah yeah it's for like one show one or two shows yeah yeah um and, and I brought I brought pretty much all the New Midwest guys back at the same time, right? You know, um, when they when the, when they asked me to come in and help and to take over as Booker, that was kind of the first thing I did was bring back all those all those guys. Yeah, bring back to yeah to help more than anything. Yeah, to help. I you know I, I honestly had um, the New Midwest the way New Midwest had kind of fizzled wound fizzled out. Um, I knew a lot of the new Midwest guys did not have like fond memories of how of how their wrestling career ended. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get um, it. You know, if, if yeah. the, you know, it, it, like great memories of wrestling of New Midwest, um, but the way it ended, and then they didn't have you know like guys didn't a lot of guys didn't get a chance to have that last match and to kind of go out their on way. their terms or anything you know or go out again. Right, yeah. Yeah, you know, weird. Or how, however it works. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know. Well, I haven't retired for the fourth time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, so a lot of those guys, and a lot of those guys I knew would be able to help. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and PWA at the time had had some guys that had never received good training, um, that had never really had the chance to work with good good guys. They, there were some new guys there that were still trying to learn. Um so I brought in a lot of those guys. I knew they'd be able to help, and it, in, it would also then get, have the chance for them to have those fond memories of ending their career, you right. know, yep. and, and have that closure instead of just the frustration of watching New Midwest fizzle down and burn out. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and I, I didn't ever – I don't look back at New Midwest as, as, a, as a, a missed opportunity for me. Right. I don't. Um, they gave me – everything that i ever wanted yeah. and you know i'll new midwest is always going to be my home i did everything in my power to get that new midwest championship belt that <laughs> by the way carried for a year still don't have a nameplate for it to this day it's <laughs> hanging in my garage and ben's was never put on that thing we'll the day magnus it. won it there was a magnus thing on there we'll go out there with a the sharp no not doing it's... that not nope that means more now <laughs> okay, that it right. that it's not there all right, all right. that means more than that that it's not there but that but yeah um yeah new midwest that was i mean that was where i finally felt back at home wrestling with you guys yeah. um to see it end yeah it sucked yep but with with pwa i just saw it as okay you asked me to come back i'll yeah let's go yeah. see what's happening and man i pwa's been fun yeah it was it was at that point in my career, I'd, I'd been champion. I, you know, I was like, okay, this this journey, let's just go have fun. Yeah. And man, did we have like I had a blast doing PWA yeah. from from just coming in and wrestling, having the feud with Blake, mm-hmm. and then you know that turning into, hey, you you and you and Logan got nothing to do. Let's see what happens. And then Smash and Flash that that the that was hot. Yeah, and yeah, and it was just. And that was created on a whim. That was you sent him out to save me from Harney at the take me out to the ball, brawl game, yeah. and that just happened. And it just we just kind of ran with it. Unless you unless you're saying that you knew that was coming. I don't, I don't, I don't coming. do anything on a whim, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially then, man. Like yeah. I'm 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 good at this booking thing, and I don't, yeah. I don't do anything on a whim. But that that <laughs> but that that just it we clicked perfectly, yeah. and it and it worked. And getting to you know feud with Scott and John who. I mean that's it's always I'm always yeah. going to be tied to Scott. The disrespect and, the yep, yep. <laughs> I'm always going to be tied to Scott, and then 
just having going out there and having a blast with my best friends, man. Yeah. That was that was. I wasn't there for money. I wasn't there for belts. I was just there. Hey, let's go get this crowd going and have fun with my buddies. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Um, moving down the line, then the the you know the return of the Hot Boys, yeah. the Hot Boys, that final run with them with them and against you guys is. Yeah, it was just a blast, man. PWA was. I mean, that was. The funnest part of my career. Yeah. It may not be the most rewarding part of it, but it might be. Like, cause I mean, if you call if you call that the funnest part of your career, I don't know how it could not be. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you yeah. know I, mean, what I mean, I mean, I take a lot of pride in, in getting that that yeah. belt, getting yeah. you know, earning that, and yeah. and it, and it was one of those things where feeling accepted again I got with you. PWA. I knew I was accepted. Yeah, and I just there's, wanted to be. Yeah, there's there's something to that. Um, that work that you put in, right? Yes. And, uh, you know, w- being able to look back and, and see what you have accomplished. Um, you know, you, you worked hard. You hurt yourself. You came back. Well, well you came, you know, you, you, you came and started, left for a while, came back, had to start over. Hurt yourself, had to start over. Right. You know, built up, you know, ended your tag team, had to start over. You know, yep. built yourself up by yourself to get back to the championship yeah you know so all those years of that work man there's something you know and and i guess that's probably you probably put it the best way you know that that was the more rewarding time right when you finally got to that and had that validation and all that work paid off right but man you know then to have that next that time in pwa that's just the funnest time you know what i mean I, i i don't know you know what's i guess it's six and one half a dozen of the other right yeah yeah absolutely (laughs) it was it's it's one of those things that Neither one's a bad thing. Yeah, it, it, it's fantastic. Like, and I'll always look back at it for that reason. Like, yep. it's just been. Uh, if people want a perfect wrestling career just in a local scene, yeah, do what I did. It was perfect. <laughs> it was it, it was fun, man. Like, I had fun. I, I I you know I worked my ass off to get what I you know what we all start to be. I want to be the champion. Right. Got there. Realized as I got older, it's it's more about having fun, yeah. and 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 it pay, and and you can tell when people are having fun or when people aren't having fun out there, and yeah, I to say I don't miss it now is yeah. is nuts, but it's not fair for me to take a spot away from somebody when I'm not when I can't be there all the time. Yeah. I have a lot, you know what I mean. It's yeah. a, that's that's well, my let's, well, let's talk about that. Let's yeah. let's you know. A little more specifically, because you you've gotten to a place where you're in what semi retirement. Do you consider yourself fully retired? Do you well, think about? Uh, no, I mean, whenever you call and ask, dude, you know I show up. <laughs> like if you if it's if the timing's right and the story's right and you need something like yeah. you and, and I can kind of like you're kind of like in that takers, but you come back once a year. So yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always can count on you know I can always count on can count on uh, doing the toga. Right. Because I said I'll always be a part of that show. Um, when it started, I meant ring announcing or something like this. But I always knew that it would be some part of the tournament. Right. And I said I'd always be a part of that show. But when I, I've come to realize that somehow you'll find a way to tie me into a match for the next month at the Grand <laughs> Wrestling Spectacle. So I've just prepared those two months. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's going to yeah. be two matches. Whether, yep. Yeah, so which is like fine. I said, man, I don't do anything on a whim, man. No, I know, I and, and and I, yeah, I can. It, when you tell me the plan, I'm like, oh well, there goes. <laughs> yep, Grand Rest and Spectacle, which it's an honor to be asked, yeah. honestly. So, so what led you to what? What made you? What led to the decision to step out of full time? My family, my kids. My kids are growing up to the point where I want to be a part of their lives. Yeah. I want to. I want to be their coach. I want to. You know, go to take them to dances and stuff like that. Saturdays, wrestling is Saturdays. Now, granted, I don't travel like some of those guys yeah. that, that dedicate every single weekend, but it's it's also not fair to the guys that put in the work and do all that and that are going to be on the shows for somebody who only shows up every other month to have a spot on the card when they, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's one of those things where I love being asked back, and I think you do it perfectly with, with where I, you know, to fill a spot mm-hmm. or to help, you know what I mean? But on a, on a monthly basis, I just can't give that to you. So right. it's, it's, I can't promise it. I've, I, if I promise you something, I'm going to show up and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it. I've always lived that way. I tell my kids, if you start something, finish it. If you agree to it, do it. Right. 
I couldn't agree to do it anymore. So it was like, yeah, if I can make it work and it, and there's an opportunity and it sounds cool to have fun, yeah. I'll do it. If there's, if if I can't, I don't want to be. Oh, he's letting us down because he can't be here. Right. You, you put you put him in the spot, and now he can't be here. Yep. So that was what that's what drove me, and just being you know spending time with the family and stuff like that. I don't I miss being in the locker rooms and stuff and yeah. hanging out and and you know doing the thing, but it, I'm old, <laughs> fat. <laughs> Ain't that old? No, I am that fat though. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just yeah, it was time for me to to leave on my terms. I didn't want to leave on. Go. I didn't want to leave because I wasn't good anymore. I didn't yeah. want to. I liked the option of being able to go. All right, let's you know. Yeah. Reunion. It's coming have, up. Have me back. This will be on after reunion. This will be on after reunion. All right. Well, <laughs> reunions, hey. th- reunions tomorrow. I will be there. <laughs> In case you guys didn't go, <laughs> uh, I just assume anybody who uh, anybody who watches this is at those shows pretty much. Oh yeah, and, <laughs> and everybody that's going to watch this that doesn't go to those shows are probably people I work with that are trying to find something. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, like, you, should what? Be working. you should be working right now. <laughs> what is, what does this idiot do when he's off the clock? <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, man. Well, I can't think of a better place to wrap up this episode. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any anything you want to say about any, any final thoughts about? I mean, you said a lot about your career and mm-hmm. how much you love it. Any final thoughts? Anything you got for somebody else? Have fun. I mean, that's you started this because it was fun and grabbed your attention because it seemed fun. Um, enjoy what you're doing. Don't don't. Don't take it too seriously. I know it's a job for a lot of you guys, but it's it it's all about having fun. And if you stop having fun doing something, then it's 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 work, and that shouldn't and what we do shouldn't be work. I love everybody. I love all you guys that you know watch this and put your time in and cheered for me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Boom. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we will be back next week. Next week we're going to get a little more into. Uh, your development as a wrestler. You know, we, mm-hmm. we ran through your whole career kind of right. moment by moment mm-hmm. in this one. Yeah. Um, so next week, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about, uh, you know, what you learned, how you learned it, you know, the big lessons, that kind of stuff, how yeah. you became the wrestler that you were. Okay. Um, so hopefully you'll be back to join us for that. Thank you guys for joining us for this. Um, you know, do all that like, comment, subscribe stuff. Like, I don't subscribe. like to, yeah, I don't like to shill it or pander or whatever, you know. I'll do it for you. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.